Welcome to another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the tables exercises. In this exercise, we'll convert an ordinary data range into a table. Select any cell in the range and then click Insert Table. Verify the range and the headers checkbox and click OK. Name the table TBL underscore data. Now that we've completed our simple warm-up exercise, let's move on to something more interesting. In this exercise, we'll use the table's name in a formula. Start by converting the ordinary data range into a table. Now, name the table TBL underscore sales. Now, compute total sales by using the table's name in your worksheet function. Adding new values under the table causes the table to auto-expand. Since the total formula used the table's name, the new values are included as expected. In this exercise, we'll explore structured table references. Start by converting the trial balance data into a table. Name the table TBL underscore TB. To compute total debits, we'll use a simple sum function. We'll enter the table's name and then an open bracket. From the structured reference list, we select debit. Close the square bracket and the paren and press enter. Now, we'll use the structured table reference for the credit column to compute total credits. As you can see, it's easy to refer to certain areas within a table using structured table references. In this exercise, we'll see how tables automatically fill calculated fields down. Convert the ordinary data range into a table and name the table TBL underscore tax data. Next, name the tax rate value T underscore rate. Now, when we write the sales tax formula, which is amount times rate, Excel will automatically fill the formula down. Even better, Excel will continue to fill the formula down for new rows. Lastly, compute the total tax due by using the structured reference for the sales tax column. In this exercise, we'll add a total row to the table. Convert the range of data to a table and name the table TBL underscore vendor underscore purchases. Next, add a total row by checking the total row checkbox. Please note, we can turn the total row on or off at any time. Interact with the total row controls to change the setting for any column. In this exercise, we'll see how table headers replace standard column labels. Convert the data range into a table and name it TBL underscore transactions. Notice how the standard column labels are replaced with the table's headers as we scroll down. In this exercise, we explore various table design options. Convert the range into a table and name it TBL underscore checks. The Table Tools Design Ribbon tab has lots of options.
feel free to explore the various settings, options, and designs available. The table style options make it easy to format your table just right. This video is a production of Click Design.